few things we get to do while traveling to events like NAFB's convention is visit with the producers that are joining uh, the organizations here and from the U.S. Custom Harvesters we're visiting now with Mark Anderson board member with the group also from Bridgeport Nebraska custom forage operator tell me a bit about yourself and your operation Mark. I'm Mark Anderson from Bridgeport Nebraska I run uh, Anderson Harvesting uh, custom forage harvesting business that I started in 2009 and um, serving here as a board member of the U.S. Custom Harvesters, here to talk about um, our issues that we're seeing, uh, promote our organization, and uh, promote our convention coming up in uh, January. Talk about some of the issues you guys face, unique challenges for U.S. Custom Harvesters in a second, but tell me about the geographic area you uh, get a harvest. So I harvest in uh, western Nebraska from North Platte back west all the way up into Scottsbluff County, uh, some of the prettiest parts of our state. Not biased at all when you no, say that. No, I'm not biased at all. <laughs> how, were, how were the crops this year, your neck of the woods? Uh, if you missed the hail, they were pretty good. We were really good, but we had a lot of devastating hail come through our area uh, early. But other than that, you know, good. We had plenty of good rain this spring and uh, throughout the summer, that was good. How challenging is that year to year for yourself and your unique business structure where you're reliant, of course, on Mother Nature, but you've got some of those events that can really change uh, the acres that you're harvesting. Oh, it's, um, it can make or break you in, about, in you know, a couple of matter of hours. It's, uh, it's incredible. The biggest factor we cannot control can, is the weather and you know, we're at its mercy. And visiting with uh, your fellow board members in pasture seems like when key issues work, the workforce and H2A program are things that you guys are highlighting. I assume that's got to be similar this year. Yes, labor is our number one issue, just like everybody else's. And um, so we are, that is one of our focuses as an organization. And uh, so a lot of our members use the H2A program, which is a foreign labor program. And we're having to work through some issues created by the government. Um, for that program so, you know, so that we can maintain the workforce to be able to harvest crops and feed the world. I have to assume you've got a team in DC working on those issues for you. That's gotta be, a little, gotta yeah. be helpful a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. I was part of that team in March. We were traveling around meeting with uh, representatives and organizations in there to you know, talk about our issues. When it comes to uh, somebody who might be interested, I'm sharing with you, my brother was on a, a custom harvesting crew. If any of our viewers today know somebody who might be interested in getting on a, a custom harvesting crew, what's the process? How do, how do you even get started there? So I would send them to our website, uschi.com. They can fill out an application or find a crew that's looking for help there. And I'd encourage them to do it. It's, it would be, it's a great experience. Got an upcoming convention in Oklahoma City this year. Absolutely, January 25th, 26th, and 27th in Oklahoma City at that brand new uh, convention center just south of downtown. A really pretty facility, really excited to be there. We appreciate you joining us here at the NAFB convention to talk about uh, the work you and your group do.